Hello interwebs, once again this is Meaty Slap TV coming at you guys. We're going to be starting a new game today called Battle Brothers. It's been out for, uh, I don't know, a little over a year and a half and it seems to have really, really high reviews. I played it back when it first came out and I was really impressed with what I saw and here recently they just came out with uh, the new update. It's still in beta, of course, the, the new update is, but we're going to kind of get into it. We're going to be playing on normal difficulty. Um, I don't know. Let's let's just get let's just get uh, headfirst into this. We're gonna be meaty slap incorporated. There we go. That looks good. Normal difficulty. Uh, not gonna be anything too too crazy. Late game crisis. This is a new feature that they've added that I've been following. This is gonna be obviously late game kind of tells you what it is but later on in the game that's going to be what happens between uh once things start to get i, I don't want to say stale because the game's really really fast as far as i know <clears throat> but there's going to be you know war between the noble houses or like orcs are going to start tearing shit up or the undead whatever but i'm going to do war just because fighting the undead and orcs and everything it's kind of a pain in the ass so we're gonna we're gonna pick up banner here that represents everything that meaty slaps Incorporated stands for crying faces. That's it, because it makes everyone sad. All right. Not every battle can be won. Okay. <clears throat> the last battle. It all went wrong. Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hoggarth the Weasel, his band of raiders. It was then who found out first. An ambush. Some joke about horses cut short by an arrow to the throat. Arrows shooting in from everywhere and nowhere. Nowhere. That's... Yeah, okay. Whatever. Men holler and scream. A great volume of death. I'm not going to read all this. It's out of control. It says a lot of, a lot of stuff. So we're just going to get right into this. Okay, sweet. Already getting my ass kicked. What a death scream. It's out of control. Could you imagine, like... Have you ever heard someone die... Actually, I don't think anyone here has ever heard anyone die. Never mind. Sweet, this guy's brave and fat. Excellent. Every character has traits that they start with, and that uh, just kind of gives each and every character kind of a little bit of flavor to play with. Which is kind of cool. I mean, that way, not everyone that you... You're not just a bunch of dudes who you uh, change out their gear and equipment and select their, their perks... They're actually, like, they have backstories, which is really cool. I mean, it's it's kind of in-depth, really, for, for what it is. This game's, I think, 20 bucks on Steam right now, so if you guys want, you should you should head over and check this out. <laughs> this seems like something you'd be interested in. Uh, the actions are down here. They're hotkeyed. Uh, it's usually, like, 1 to 5, 1 to 6. You can get quite a few abilities that will do things, like round swing. Uh, for this guy, it'll hit everyone like in an area. Apparently, has a minus 15% chance to hit. But I mean, if there's dudes all around you, you just kind of take a whack and see what happens. So we're gonna we're gonna move up here. Oh, also, there's an AP system, so you can't just constantly attack and do things. Moving costs AP. Usually, it'll tell you uh, fatigue and everything, what it costs to move and what it costs to attack. So for this guy, his standard attack cost six AP so he's only allowed to take one step before he can swing and unfortunately he has a pretty terrible uh, percent chance to hit because I mean he's level one so uh, here are the abilities with the spear spears have really really good chances to hit they don't do that much damage but they they're really reliable they have an ability called spear wall which what it says here is it will immediately attack any opponent that attempts to move in the melee range on a hit. And if you hit them, I've seen it, if you hit them with it, it'll like throw them back to the square that they were before, uh, and they lose that, that action point, and they build all that fatigue for moving, and you know, if you're lucky, you can just kind of flat kill them. But uh, the AI in this game is actually kind of intelligent. <laughs> Meaning, like, if you put up a spear wall, they're not just going to run straight into you. They're going to try to get around it, and they're going to employ tactics to try to get you away. 
lead effect. The good thing about crossbows is uh, you, you only need 2 AP to fire, but you need 7 to reload. As opposed to the bow, which uh, it's like four, I think, or six for an aim shot. Also, you have to be careful because your character can actually like shoot your teammates and kill them. This is the training mission, so I don't believe that anyone can even be killed, so you don't have to worry about that. Man, his attacks are just ass. It's like this guy right here, I think I'm going to be able to finish him off. There's a lot of modifiers because he's surrounded uh also i believe that when they uh when they receive injuries it lowers their morale which increases their chance to hit because it reduces their stats and since right now that he's wavering it will reduce like his defense stat and his offensive stats by around 10 percent which i mean 67 percent 77 percent that's kind of a big difference so that's really important and he blocked it outstanding This game uh, seems to be known for its difficulty. It is incredibly difficult. If you've noticed, like I already have people here who are almost dead, and it's this is literally the training mission. So, but don't don't let that scare you. The game, the game is really really fun. Got some equipment here. Got a butcher's cleaver for the spoils. And a small shield. That'll be handy. Your uh, your equipment can break, especially shields. If your equipment, um, if if it runs out of durability, it'll just shatter. So if you're on the battlefield and they hit your shield too many times, I mean it'll just shatter, and then you don't have one. And shields are are fairly important since they add such a large amount to your uh, your defenses down here. I'm not really sure how this gets turned into a percentage, per se, because I mean, this guy has 61 offense, right, and uh, 25 melee defense, but if, it, if he has a 61 against somebody else's 25, I'm not really sure how that gets changed into, uh, into a percentage. They also added a, a new uh, morale system, like now you can actually see what morale everyone seems to have. Which is pretty cool. Before they didn't have that, so I'm really, I'm really excited that they added that. Let's see. This guy's. This right here is like your starting line. You can, uh, whenever the battles start, they will actually appear in this formation unless you like get ambushed or something. Let's see what do we got. Okay, that didn't shatter, so I think it might only be shields. I have seen it. Maybe, I don't know if weapons do either, but... I do know that shields will shatter if they get, uh, if you reduce their equipment to zero. So now we're going to go ahead and move down to this gold coin, which is the quest that I'm tracking. We're going to be returning to Thundheim to get paid. So let's go ahead and move down here, see what we can get. A temple and a harbor. That's pretty cool. That's a, another thing that they added is it tells you what kind of facilities that they have before you even go into the town. So that's handy. So like a lot of times, like you just seen, they didn't have like an armor or a blacksmith. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the tutorial. You guys can pause this and, re and read this if you want. I've, I've already seen this a thousand times. I really feel like uh, temples will... Um, they can heal you, like if your characters actually get injured. See, but I don't have anyone here that has any uh, debilitating injuries, so that's good. Uh, we got a fair amount of money. A little bit of food. Let's see what we need. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this shield and this cleaver. We're not gonna use that. Let's go ahead and see if we can't pick up some more guys down here. Let's see, Anton the Brave. If you hover over their uh, their job, it, some of them have. Like bonus stats, none of these seem to have any bonus stats, but nobody here really looks particularly interesting in the stat department. I try to only hire guys that have bonus stats because um, 
I mean, a lot of times when you get someone, they have negative traits. Like you see him, like the guy that's fat, he's going to eat double food provisions. So. That's new. I'm not really sure what that does. Along the way, uh, Skyline appears on the horizon. Godheart seeks a with you. Never been to whatever. See, this is why I say it's German. There's no fucking way that that's English. That I could be here the rest of the day and I wouldn't be able to pronounce what that word is. Goods delivered, da da da. Alright, seems like people just want to get fucking drunk, so that's cool. I'm down for that. Fang and coin. That must be a, a, a group. Contracts locked. Hmm. Some new features here. I'm not really sure what any of this does. Training hall? Sparring fight? Rigorous schooling, 20... Oh! This gains, uh, experience boosts. So, I mean, that's cool. That's really interesting. That's, that's new stuff. It's not particularly difficult to level up, but there is points where it is really, really handy if you can get an edge. You got some pretty good stuff in here. Things that I've noticed about this game is, is if, if it's expensive, it's usually better. See if we can't get to, there's some really expensive guys in here. Oh, there's one. Who do we got? We got an apprentice. I think they might have took out the bonus stats for for the uh, the jobs. I don't see those in here. So let's go ahead and get uh, Torsten because he's kind of cheap, and this is what I'll have to pay him per day. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab him up. His caravan hand. I'm gonna go ahead and grab him up as well. Let's get one more. Yeah, I'm not gonna. That guy's expensive. I can't afford a thousand dollars. Let's see. This guy has. He's club footed. Excellent. And he has a 90% chance to survive if he's struck down and not killed. Disloyal. Excellent. That's exactly who I want a part of my crew. This guy is gonna get a lot of bonuses. I didn't explain this. So the stars above each stat, um, whenever you level up, you'll initially get like one or two points. And depending on how many stars you have above a certain stat, you'll get a bonus to that. So he'll get an additional three points on level up just to his health, which is incredible. So this guy's going to be relatively tough. Okay, I'm going to need some shields. It looks like, because we got one two-handed. I'm going to go ahead and put him in the middle. We're going to need some shields. That guy doesn't even have a weapon. His chest piece sucks. You guys, it's okay. So I'm going to need two helmets, uh, two shields. Let's see if I can't get some little dank ass. Yeah, a little wooden shield there. What's that? Straw hat? That's pretty ass. How much money? I got a pretty good amount of money, so I'm going to splurge a little bit and get some halfway decent helmets. Uh, that's kind of expensive. I'll take that hatchet. Daggers are good because they have certain skills that completely ignore armor and just go straight into health damage, which is incredible. But I don't really like using them because I don't feel that that ability uh, justifies the, the terrible overall. Because I think it's only like an 80% chance that it happens, but like on that 20% chance, as you can see, only like 60% of the 15 to 35 is even gonna damage the armor. So I don't even, I don't even mess with that. That's garbage. Uh, padded leather. That's that's pretty good. Go ahead and scoop that up. Two helmets. We need another shield, right? Let's go to the uh, the armorer. See if we can't find a. Okay. Looks like he only has really good shields in here. So we might as well get the more defensive one because I don't think people are going to be using too many arrows. Shouldn't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and slap on this guy's new helmet. He's using a stupid ass dagger. So let's slap that on. Give him that. That armor there. Give him that shield. Let's find this guy a weapon. Marketplace. Go ahead and get rid of that. Grab a few coin. Now Axes do extra damage against shields, who I put, you, know, you see me, I put that on the other guy. So let's see, pitchfork, that's dumb. Doesn't look like they have too many weapons for sale. 
Training hall, tavern, Fletcher. Let's see what we got in here. Heavy crossbow. Could make him like a, a throwing, throwing type guy. Looks like it does a pretty good amount. Has a little bit of a range. Hmm. Okay, now nah, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm actually gonna head recruit at least three more men. Well, I just recruited two. I'm gonna head back here and see if I can't find another weapon. Let's go ahead and speed this travel up a little bit. That's a new feature they added as well. Uh, I'll scoop up this spear. So it doesn't seem like... His melee skill is kind of terrible, so how you balance it is you're going to give the guys that don't really have a lot of chance to hit the the better uh, hitting weapons. Like, you'll see that this gives a 20% chance to hit. So with that skill being kind of bad, it's going to be helpful that uh, he's going to have that bonus. So that's good. We're going to have that. So I need to recruit three more men. I guess I'll get some of these cheapo guys down here this grave digger. I'll scoop him up. Okay, it just didn't change, so it, it counted the other two that I recruited, so that's good. Pacing back and forth when you find him, the healer damn near killed you. Hmm. Sick. That's really graphic. Finally, you're here. I have good news. We got hold of Hargard's former man. My good friend here. It's nice talk with the man. How Hargard is licking his wounds. So he got his fucking ass kicked. Now we need to chase that scumbag son bitch down. Let's go murder that motherfucker. Seems to be. Oh, that's his hideout. Sick. All right, let me make sure everybody's. Oh, that guy doesn't even have equipment. Yeah, see, it's a good thing because I just would have fucking went over there. That dude would have went in there with like fists and got his fucking nuts stomped in. What's his ranged ability? We might give him a bow. It's pretty terrible. All right. See that? We'll give him that. That's pretty terrible. Let's see what his chest piece is. Ten. That's pretty awful. Yeah, we're gonna have to head over to the blacksmith really quick. Hopefully they got some cheap stuff I can scoop up. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Oh, everything's closed, so we're actually going to have to make camp tonight and wait till in the morning. There's also relations, as you see down at the bottom where it says neutral. Once you become uh, better, I don't really want to say friends because that sounds dumb. But once, I guess, you become better quote unquote friends with a specific house or a group, you'll get uh, better contracts from them, more money, they'll be easier negotiations, which is really handy. You'll be able to bleed them a little drier, because I don't really think there's a good and evil system. But I mean, it's really just your personal preference. You're a mercenary company, so I mean, I'm, I'm down to do whatever it takes to, to make a little money. A poacher, I think that's a, a ranged type of guy. And that's their banner, that's cool. This is new, they didn't have the banners up there before. Drag and drop the minute. Oh. All right. Doesn't. Oh, this is all of them. There's only four of them. Hoggart the Weasel's there. So it looks like they got a couple of ragtag fucking clowns out here on like what appears to be like bedcloth. I'm gonna move him out to the side. See if I can't get some some of this range up here. This elevation. Because once when you're if you're shooting downhill, you get a much higher chance to hit. I'm actually going to wait and let them come to me. That way I can build how I want. Which I... Let me see. I'm going to move him here and throw up that shield wall like we talked before. So if he goes to step here, this guy down here is going to attempt to knock him away and he's going to keep my uh, crossbowman safe. So that's pretty handy. So that's his turn. And I'm going to wait with these guys. And I'm gonna let their their people come to me. Oh, that was terrible. He was so close. 
See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, he missed. So his shield wall actually goes down if you're... If they, if they get through it, I mean, it, it doesn't work anymore. Augur the Weasel. I'm going to go ahead and use Shield Split. And I'm going to completely destroy that shield. Because now he won't be able to block. I'm going to move him. Move him there for now. Actually, I'll move him into combat. I'm gonna start taking some some pot shots at Hoggard because I got to get him down. He's he's definitely the toughest opponent we have out here. Now we have him good and surrounded. Let's go ahead and take out this guy. He doesn't seem like he's gonna be very tough. Pretty good attacks in. Oh, the post. That's terrible. Oh, all face, all day. Uh, if your ranged units are threatened, they won't be able to reload if he's a crossbowman. And if you're using a bow, you can't attack, period. So. He's and I don't want to move because I'll give that guy free attacks against me, so that's that's a bad idea. I'm gonna go ahead and start chipping back away at him. See if I can't get him put down. This guy, if he hits, he will most likely put it, yeah, he'll just put him straight the fuck away. That's what I'm talking about. And they're putting up big ass numbers. This dude is currently fleeing, so he doesn't even care that if he tries to move, he's gonna get cut down. We gotta start making ground on this archer because he's gonna attempt to run away. Oh, and we got him. He's not gonna be able to move. We're in his. We're in his threatened area, so if he tries to move, we're gonna get some free attacks. Let's go ahead and jump down there. Yeah. Surrounding him, lowering his morale. Let's see if I can't lower this. You guys will be able to see this a bit better. There we go. Oh, he missed. 78% chance. Fucking missed. Got him good surrounded. Now he's completely fleeing because we have him surrounded. So I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm gonna stab him in his face one time. Enemy is battered and beaten. Those still alive scatter away in all directions. We hunt them down and claim their heads and possessions. Well, as I said before, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that my mercenary company is outfitted with the most money and the best equipment. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy down. I'm going to skip the archer because I don't want him shooting in all my fucking guys. That doesn't make any sense. Go ahead and stab this guy out. All right. Got a level up here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys that as soon as I get finished here with all the loot. I'm just gonna take everything. There's no reason ever to not take anything, cause I mean, when are you really gonna have 81 items in your inventory? And feces, scurried into grotesque and panicked pose, didn't wheeze his way out of this one. That's right, we put my fucking foot in his ass. All right. Morale seems to be going back up for these guys because they want a battle. It's unfortunate that they started with their morale really low. But, I'm going to show you. Every time you level up, you'll get a perk. Uh, fast adaptation. If you hit, you'll get bonuses to... Or if you miss, you'll get bonuses to hit for each occurring miss. Lowers the threshold to inflict injuries so that you can you know, deal more out. This uh, increases hit points. If he gets hit... Uh, and it's supposed to kill him, it will spare him with a few hit points. So that's that's handy if you don't want someone to die, because there is permadeath. Uh, extra bag of slots, but no, that's dumb. Pathfinder, it cuts the action points down whenever moving over tiles, because, you know, it, it costs two to move over tiles. But this will help in, like, snowy environments, because it's harder to move through snow, but that'll make it like you're just moving across regular dirt adrenaline it makes you're the first guy next turn in the queue he'll automatically get to go first in front of everyone but it uses quite a bit of fatigue so we're not going to worry about that and this will cut your fatigue in half but it takes uh your entire turn so and student gain an additional 20 percent xp from battle and upon reaching the 11th level you'll get an extra perk which of the 11th level is max 
So I'm going to do that. That way, uh, on the 11th level, I'll be able to use that perk that I used on that on something else down here that's probably a lot better. So that's a new skill there. Overwhelm, I haven't seen that one. But we'll get to that when we get to that. See, this is what I was saying. He started with one to two points, and then these two stars gave him the, the extra hit point boost. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We don't have a lot of heavy armor, so I'm not going to worry about fatigue because uh, your heavy armor reduces your max fatigue. And he already has 82 with his equipment on now. And that's plenty. I mean, if you're, if you're being conservative, you shouldn't have to worry about running out of fatigue. Because if you run out of fatigue, you can't do anything. So... Uh, one point in the melee skill. That's pretty terrible. I'm going to boost that range defense since it was a plus three and he doesn't have any bonuses to that. That seems really handy. And resolve. That's for morale checks. That's pretty important. Since, you know, he has like medium morale as it is right now. This will make it to where uh, he will. It'll be harder for him to lose his morale. So that's good. Let's go ahead and boost his morale. All right, guys, I think that's all that I, all the time I have for today. So I believe that tomorrow I'm going to be uploading a vlog of the breakdown of the things I'm going to be doing. I posted it to Facebook. I just want to make sure that all my viewers here on YouTube, uh, you know, that you guys get to see that. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. And this was Meaty Slabs TV for you guys. Peace.